I came into last night's content thinking, this is great. We've got these brand new PLE cards, Sami Zayn and Bailey. But then I thought, where's our good friend Cody Rhodes or Damian Priest? Where are those guys? And then I saw this tweet and went, holy sh business just picked up. This may be one of the nicest designs. This is very much a repeating design, very similar to how they did Andre the Giant's massive gold statue card. In fairness, it looks very much like the old Vanguard cards and SummerSlam from years gone by. And personally, I love those designs, but when I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is perfect. It's Cody as the undisputed WWE champion. And you know what's better about it? This card is completely free to get. <gasps> Literally, you don't have to go and spend money. But obviously, I am because I'm a massive whale. Right now, it's pack time. So how do you get your hands on this Cody? Well, basically, you need to get these championship tokens or put your hand in your wallet and go for the extreme. Sorry, go back to it. Extreme. It's our good friend, the Extreme Bounty Breaker is back. But hey, get a guaranteed pro off the back of it. We're going to be opening this up. But we've got to talk about the final boss because he also has something new in the game. If you haven't seen it yet, this amazing car back, which showed up on the Supercar web store. I'm going to give away one in this video. I said last night on Twitter that I was going to give away one if people wanted it. And everyone was like, yeah, sorry, in the Clash of Champions. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you guys in the comments down below, how long do you think Cody is going to hold on to his title? The Undisputed Championship. The Rock might have something to do with that, you know. Leave that in the comments down below. And obviously, as always, make sure you're pumping that big old thumbs up on the video. It's free of charge. You can change your mind if you want to. And hey, you might just win something. And then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll be giving one of those final boss rock card backs to one lucky person in the comments. So good luck. I like doing this when those card backs come along, man. It's, it's pretty cool. Now I did give myself a chance at the Cody Rhodes rival packs, but um, 4% didn't go down very well. So instead, we're going to go for the extreme bounty breaker and try to do well. No guarantees. Now, if you've seen me play this mode beforehand, you would know that it, it's a thing. You can get some really cool stuff from this and no doubt you'll pick up a good two, maybe three good cards off the back of this. I got three picks. Nice. So I've got to use one of these pick, picks, 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 whatever. But yes, it requires a big outlay. Sometimes you do actually get really lucky and get a great rebate on the credits. But man, that initial outlay is is rough. Although I'm getting loads of peaks right now. Like crazy numbers of peaks. Let's go top. I'm not here as an obstacle yet. I'm gonna go for another peak here. The top left. Hey, okay. And we're gonna choose another one. Yep, choose another one. Top right. Okay. I'd rather get some of the credits ones. And again, this mode pays out really well, but you've gotta be stupidly lucky to, to avoid getting smashed. See like that. Top right to top left. Okay, that, that's good. Middle. Hey, okay. Oh, is that the that's the credits? That's the credits right there. Hey, there we go. I wasn't lying when I said this requires a big outlay. Now, for those of you who want to play free to play to get yourselves a free Cody Rhodes, there are lots of little suggestions, tips I can give you. The first is take your time. You got 12, 13 days, 24 seven modes. It's something I'm going to touch on later on as well, but use your picks to your advantage. And I think 24 seven mode is going to be your friend. Although if you do have things like the boost pack that gives you the extra super coins or make sure you go into campaign mode and make sure your team, especially if you're on an active team, has earned super coins for you. Go, go in there and see if you can grab a couple of packs of those. Use those for your picks and get as many as you can. And stay tuned to the channel for QR codes and other great things. No doubt there'll be free packs popping up left, right, and center. Realistically speaking, this card seems like a celebration card. See, it doesn't seem like one that's going to be particularly difficult for people to get. It's really just playing. 24 7 mode is one of those modes that really you just need to be playing a variety of different modes. I mean, if you're playing Clash of Champions this weekend, you're going to have a good opportunity to play 24 7 mode. Top left again. Okay, we're good. And uh, let's go bang in the middle. Okay, that's good. No extra credit outlays here. So far, I've only had to pay 3,000 credits. I know that's a lot to some people, but in this situation, with the extreme version of this mode right now, 
Oh, we got a purple. We got a purple. That's what we like to see. Top left hand side. Okay, we're good. Now I've got to go down to the middle middle. Hey, and we got that the green. Okay, it's a it's a peak. Right. Do I peak again? No, I'm gonna to top left, bottom. Hey, sad hammer to the face. Now to go back on 24-7 mode, there's one tip I always give people, and it's the most important thing you will ever know about 24-7 mode. Really simple. Make sure that if you decide that you, oh, we missed out on a Liv Morgan WrestleMania. No, Liv, what are you doing to me, Liv? Editor Paddy will be absolutely thrilled with this because he's going to be thinking, well, I didn't get him, but neither did JB. Ah, sledgehammer to the face. So now about 5,000 credits in, bottom right. Oh, okay, no more. We've got another purple one here. Okay, we're just about to get our first Cody. This will give us a couple of extra bonuses. Oh no, okay. We just get the Cody here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. What I love the way they've used the belts and little hit, hints and tips. So we're going to start seeing more title images coming up. I hope they're not like this all the time where the belts are like part of the images and stuff. I'd like to see some ones where the people are actually holding it much like Roman was holding the universal WWE undisputed universal championship on the app icon. I'm guessing that's going to change the moment we get ourselves a Cody one. But yes, back to 24 seven mode and the things that you should be doing. Most importantly is if you are waiting overnight or for maybe you, you got school or maybe you're working and you can't play for six, seven, eight hours or something like that, or you just want to have to take a break. Don't claim your reward on your last game you play before that happens. That will keep any streak you've got in the meantime completely safe stops you from getting challenged by anyone. So if you're on a streak at like 10, 20, etc., where you're getting three of these collectibles at a time, you won't have to worry about climbing up and playing like, I don't know, 100 games to get yourself to the, the 10th rung of 24 seven mode. Don't be afraid to back out of the game mode as well. If you're not, you don't have, maybe you're not prepared for the mode. And if you've got a couple of credits, I would strongly suggest if you are worried, you're not going to win, go to block bash and charge up a super move. You might only have to pay 10 credits or something. If you're really worried, maybe your deck's a little bit imbalanced, go across to that mode, charge up your super move, come back in, and it may be the difference between you winning and you losing. Plus the benefit of you jumping out of a game if you're not winning is that it resets itself each time to the three minute timer you have to, to accept the challenge actually resets every time that you back out the game. Another little tip people might not know if you go to WWE Supercard's web store, you can actually insert your player ID and get one free token every day. And I know that's not a lot, but you know, it might be the difference between you getting a Cody or maybe you go for one of the lower collectible packs as a chance of getting Red Rooster or Bailey. And I, I tell you what, for people who've not been able to get Bailey, that may very well be your best opportunity of getting a card that in my opinion is literally, if you're not getting the PLE one, completely priceless. It's so overpowered, it's unreal. And we just got a camera to the face. Any purples? Oh, okay, good. Well, we're about to get one then. So I hope all of those help you. I know it's kind of jarring to see someone using a pay to win mode such as Bounty Breaker and talk about how to do it free of charge. But you know, if you get a chance to talk about it and help you guys, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Top left. Ah, Slayhammer. So far, only 8,000 credits, but still a lot. Better than if you played the regular Bounty Breaker, by the way. That mode is, oh, the fact I, I, I still despise the original Bounty Breaker, even though maybe I don't even know why it still exists, but you know, they've got to give people other options, I guess. Hey, another purple. Let's go, baby. We are at this, the penultimate. Okay, now we've got six purples. Damn, top left. Okay, that's good. That's credits. That, that would be credits or picks. Very unlikely though. Bottom middle. Ah, we're now approaching. This might be a little bit much cost wise. We're at 19K spent. We will get a rebate at the end because it always is. Let's use a peak here. Maybe that's going to help out. Maybe top left. Oh no, back to the phase. So now we're at like 22K. Missed out on a Raw Rumble. Oh, okay, no, we're good. Two Raw Rumbles, I don't want Raw Rumbles. I'm, I'm good, top left. Oh, now we're uh, like 25K, top right. Mm, no purples this time. You're gonna miss out on something good. No, Big John Stud can stay there. I'd have preferred those credits though. Top left, ah oh, no. This is the last round though, so ow, okay, so 27, 28,000. Yikes, bottom right. Okay, a purple. Purples are good. Would have preferred the credits though. Do we have credits here? Oh, we got the Android Dawkins. Okay, so here we go. The last ones, we've got a purple. Another purple. That's two, up to nine. Can we get a 10. 
No, we got green though. That might be credits. And as a second American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I cannot wait to see the pro animation. I wonder if you can change the image on this. But first, we've got to check out what's inside the Bounty Breaker rewards. Are there WrestleMania cards? I really hope we've got at least a couple. One, two. Okay, two. Not the best. Andrew Dawkins, we've already got a pro of him. I wonder how many credits in total though. So we've got one and two. We've got two WrestleMania cards. Jey Uso is going to be useful. Andrew Dawkins not so. We got the Cody. That's the most important thing. Now we go down and check out the credits. What's the rebate we get back on this for, for doing it? 5,000 credits. Okay. So that's, uh, that's not bad. So the whole thing costs like 22K. I mean, that is still absolutely exorbitant. That's a lot of money, but at least you get something back. And because of the cost of that, I'm probably just gonna hold back now and just hope there's other better packs that might come along. I've got my fill of Bounty Breaker, right? I'm good. That's two level 100 Cody's. But here it is, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Can we change the image? Yes, we can. That is good. And this actually might be the only card that I've tried, I've used, that I've used that this image is good on. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. If you're not feeling golden, Cody, at least you've got the chance of getting shirtless Cody instead. Look at the intensity in his eyes. Let's get it done. Now he's got the champion boost attached to his card. This guy is a demon, an absolute demon to use. His proc's higher, his percentage proc rate is higher. He is a gem and his stats are actually relatively oddly similar to Roman. So whatever Roman lost, Cody got in terms of the boost anyway. But I'm just happy to have a, another champion championship title card it's not the same as getting an actual championship card in the game but we can only hope fully level that son of a gun up and oh he's powerful already we can go for this one his original oh it's pretty good i'm a big fan this blue one does a blue you know what the blue one actually goes yeah that's not bad either i'm i'm a fan maybe we'll go on dashing just definitely not this one that one can uh, can go in the bin dude some of these pictures give me massive homelander vibes i know it, it looks very similar but he although apparently there's no correlation it wasn't intentional at all maybe i'm not necessarily buying that damn it does look good i think i'm gonna go for this one kind of mix up the two special editions and the final Oh, he's, he's just behind Triple H, who's already got a piece of equipment on him. This is his solo. No momentum. Let's put this WrestleMania 40 equipment on. Oh, the, dude, that, that charisma is dirty. They still got a little bit of a way to go. He's not going to be the best because Stone Cold has that piece of equipment and they're both limited edition cards. These seem to be the flavor of the month, but he's still uber powerful. He's still great. And F3 of that is going to kick anything's ass. Before you guys go, we do have these PLE cards, the Bailey and the Sami Zayn. Now, I would go for the Sami Zayn, but there's some, nothing against you, Sami, but I'm sorry, it's Bailey. And we're going to go for a pro Bailey. So let's get her done out of the way. Beautiful looking card. I do want to see what the pro animation, I'm very interested in that. Which one do I go for? Do you know what? In the spirit of the championship stuff, with, you know, with Cody and whatnot, go to the old women's championship. Hmm, I like it. It's maybe a bit too tall though. We can just go pixel for, I don't know why we would do that, but, or I mean, I'll tell you what, the cataclysm does go. I'm gonna go for the contrast. I'm gonna go for the extreme. She's ready to go, combine. I wanna see this pro animation. Please be good. Yes, okay, we got the fireworks in the background. We've got the shine lights. That, that, that's good. This reminds me with the, the screen at the bottom. It reminds me of the old, is it the extreme rules? I think it was where it had that kind of screen at the bottom. But I, I, I dig the fireworks. It looks it looks WrestleMania like and that's all we ask for. But if you want to see more videos just like this one, well, go up here. This one QR code as well. Beating the final boss to get ourselves two limited edition cards or alternatively go down this end. If you're a 2K player, and you want to grab a Hulk Hogan. Well, those itchy bound ones, the action figures. It's pretty rare. So go check it out. Anyway, later. Bye.